Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy A03s and we're going to be comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy A12. Make sure you guys stay locked in with me. Yo, welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be taking a look at both of these guys, the Samsung Galaxy A03s on my right and the A12 on my left. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're brand new, I encourage you to subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, so All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about both of these guys and they have a lot of things in common, but we're gonna also start off with the, um, the performance, the battery life, the sound quality, as well as the displays. And we're going to jump into all of those things. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. All right, guys. So I'm going to start off with the overall startup on the, you know what I mean? Like the power up. And then we're going to jump into the build quality. So one, two, three. Let's see which one opens up quicker. One, two, three. All right. So I pressed those at the exact same time. So let's just see which one will power up faster. Either one that load up quicker, you can see the A12 actually loaded up quicker. And when you turn these things to the to the um, right side, you're gonna notice both do have the um, fingerprint sensor on the, the right side of both of these guys. So they both have the fingerprint sensor with the volume rocker right above that. And they both have a microphone up top. And then on the bottom, they're both gonna have Type-C charging microphone for so they both have dual microphones and they both have headphone jacks and they both have the speaker placement in this exact same location and then you can see that they both do also offer sd card support which is something that's pretty cool now the next thing i want to actually compare is the fingerprint sensors and then like the app how fast the apps open up so one two three that was the a03 asset one two three That time it was so close, one, two, three. And that was really close. I couldn't even tell which one opened quicker. So next thing we're gonna do is clear out all the apps in the background, clear all. So let's do gallery store, one, two, three. And it looks like it's gonna be, oh wait, the three DS is catching up. With the A12 is loading up the apps, they're both loading right now, and it looks like the A12 was a little bit quicker. Let's jump into the Play Store. One, two, three. And that was the A12 by a by a lot, a little bit there. You can see right there. So the A12 did open up faster that time. Let's go to the Google search, one, two, three. That was the, it's still loading. The eight. Wow, I, that was really close. Facebook or uh, Meta, one, two, three. And that looked like it's gonna go to the is A03S on that one. So let's let's test out the scrolling speeds on both of these. Then we're gonna jump into the display comparison of these. So let's let's um wait for both of these to load. Let's just test out the scrolling speeds. You can see the comparison when we look side by side. Wow, that, that dunk right there was one of the most ridiculous dunks to witness when Pippin dunked on Ewing. That was crazy. So both of these devices do look pretty good. Let's just scroll real quick and see which one will scroll faster. They seem to be almost even. The A03S seems to load up things a little bit quicker though. Let me just start from here. All right, let's scroll once, twice three times, one more time. It looks like the uh, 
it's a little bit more fidgety on the A12. Let's do that one more time. One, two, and three. So the A03S does seem to be loading things just a little bit slightly quicker. Right, let's do a sound test. Let's see which one is a little bit louder. We're gonna start off with the A12 right here. Now let's try the A03S right here. All right, let's try the A12 one more time. And let's try the A03S one more time. So it seems like the A12 has like a little bit more bunt, uh, bass punch to it and um, like a little bit of deeper sound, but it seems like the A03S gets a little bit louder when it comes to the overall volume. So I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, we're gonna do a quick display test. So both of these devices are basically um, at the same video. Let's just test out the video playback and see which one looks better. So as you can see, both of these devices look really nice when it comes to the overall display. We're getting a 6.5 inch on the A12. We're getting a 6.5 inch as well on the A03S. Um, they both have TFT displays uh, with 720 uh, HD plus panels, but the A12 is gonna have 15 1560, whereas the A0S has 1600. So one of the other things to note is that the A03S will have 270 pixels per inch, whereas the A12 will have 264. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice about both of these devices is that they are rocking the Helio P35 with the Power VR GE 8320. All right, so let me just show you the graphics on the Samsung Galaxy A0, A, A12. This is the A12, smooth and medium, so you don't get high graphics or nothing like that. Um, as you can see right here, it's, it's got some pretty decent speeds. It hasn't lagged yet, so uh, that's something that's pretty cool. The blue team has scored for the first time. Oh, I see him right there. I'm about to get him. Oh, he got first blood. That's crazy. Let's go one more time and see if I could get a kill right now. But right now the gaming performance is actually pretty decent. It, ha it hasn't really like lagged majorly or anything like that. So I'm actually able to experience some pretty decent gameplay here. Look pretty good on here. All right guys, so let's test out the Samsung Galaxy A03S. And just like the A12, it's gonna have smooth and medium graphics. So let's just test this out real quick. It does feel pretty smooth. It's clocked in at 2.3 gigahertz with the 14 nanometer processing chip. So now I just wanna compare the features from the notification panel so you can see which ones have which features. So we do get Wi-Fi, sound, Bluetooth, auto rotate, airplane mode, flashlight, power savings mode, hotspot, eye comfort, quick share. As you can see right here, so they both have Dolby Atmos as well. The A03S now has the um, Android thir uh, 12, so it has microphone access and create notes, which is new. But they both have ex ex almost the exact same features. I'm gonna click here so you can see more features. And let me just click up here. 
and you can basically see that they're running on the same features. I can't see anything different about these. So the A12 has a 48 megapixel main camera, 5 8 megapixel wide angle camera, 2 megapixel portrait, and 2 megapixel depth. Whereas the A03S has a 13 megapixel main camera, 2 megapixel um, for the macro, and 2 megapixel for, um, you know what I'm saying, depth. So it's missing the wide angle camera differences. So you can see right here on the A12 to my left, if you click this button right here, it's gonna give you the 0.5 for wide angle, up to 10 times zoom as well. Whereas if you click this one, you're not gonna get the wide angle, you're only gonna get the 10 times zoom. So they both have video mode that goes up to 1080. And if you click more, this is the, the features I'm gonna show you right now with, with both of these things. So when it comes to the features, they're pretty much identical, except on the A03S, you get the hyperlapse all right, so I'm gonna take a picture first with the A12 portrait mode, and then take it right here. And then we're gonna use the macro mode as well on both and get real close. And since the A03S doesn't have the wide angle, I'm not gonna use that. So this is the macro up real close, and this one up real close. Now let's do the exact same thing with the A03S. We're gonna take a portrait There was just some shutter lag right there and another portrait. So it took a hot minute to, to, hit the, to get to the photo inside of the viewfinder for it to capture it. And then let's just take a macro shot on both of these things. And when you get the closer you get, the better the image quality looks on the macro. So I just wanna make sure you guys are 100% aware of that. And then I'll take a picture of my face. Let me flip the cameras around. But if you're still here, just comment down below and say I'm still here so I know you're still kicking it with me. And both of these do have wide angle for um, um, just a regular standard photo. And when we go to portrait right here, they both also do have that feature as well. So I like that part. All right, now let's compare all the photos that we just took starting with the front facing camera. And it took a minute for me to get to the, the photo. I had to click it three times or whatever. Okay, so let's zoom in. And they both look pretty good. The A03S kind of has better details when it comes to like the colors and stuff like that. It's more vibrant. Here's the second one. And it's a little bit more vibrant. My, my skin tone is a little bit pale on the A12 right here. Now let's look at this one. This is like a macro shot on the A03S. Good detail on there with the macro shot. Let me see if I could. Um, the A12 looks a little bit better with the macro camera, as you can see right here. It just looks more detailed and the colors are a little bit better. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see the the yellow is like more highlighted, more more yellowish tone to it, so it looks more clear and accurate. And then right here with the portrait, the A03S looks a little bit um, cleaner, but they both look really good. And then um, you know what I'm saying this is the. Uh, Wow, both of these look really good when it comes to the picture quality. So it just depends on your personal preference, right? But even though the A03S has a five megapixel on the front and the A12 has a eight megapixel on the front, the colors look a little bit better on the A03S when it comes to the color preference of my choice. But both of these devices do have 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so they're gonna be really good for overall um, like battery time. When you're using both of these devices, you're gonna get at least a day or more in my personal usage. And as far as the overall weight of these things, they're gonna be pretty even, but the A12 is 200 grams, 205 grams of weight and the A03S 
is going to be 196 so it's slightly lighter when the on the a03s but let me know what you guys think about both of these devices let me know which one you would pick if you had to choose but i'm going to get right back with you i'm going to show up in the comment section answer your questions but i appreciate you for coming through and kicking it with me real quick type still here if you made it to the end of the video and say i made it and i'm going to get right back with you but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending where you are have a great night later group peace